Okay, everyone, welcome back to Dream Trashed. Um, this is going to be a absolutely uh, fun ride. Um, this is Sega Marine Fishing for the Sega Dreamcast. And if you know anything about the Sega Dreamcast, you'll know that Sega Dreamcast really knew uh, or did a really good job of porting a lot of Sega's amazing arcade games to the system. And um, I'm going to go to original here and just kind of show off what this game's all about. Now I'm, I am, this bit of a disclaimer here, I am using the Sega Dreamcast fishing controller. Uh, when I bought a Dreamcast off eBay, um, the it, it came with this with this game and with the, with this controller, and I could not have been happier. So we're gonna go to Coral Reef. Um, there's kind of three different settings. There's kind of shallow water, mid mid water, and then kind of open deeper ocean, out by a, like a big cruise ship. Um, but this game is just an absolute blast. Uh, if you've never had the pleasure of playing Sega Marine Fishing, I would highly recommend it. Um, and it's just simply a lot of fun uh, to try and catch a fish with this Dreamcast controller. Uh, big fish, little fish, it doesn't really matter. Um, trying to catch fish is just, it's absolutely fun. So we're just going to go out here, cast our caster guy here. You can do better, it tells me. Oh, I've oh, got something on. So it looks like we've got a Barracuda. And we lost him. Yeah, that wasn't very good. We'll try and reel a little bit in here. Okay, looks like we got like a grouper. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a ton of fun to try and reel these guys in. Now, this one's not putting on much of a fight, um, but you get the bigger fish, uh, sailfish, uh, marlin, there's even a shark. Um, it's a Napoleon fish, 32 pounder. Um, they can be a real challenge, and it's, it is a lot of fun to try and. Uh, to get out there and uh, reel a really big fish in. Uh, let's start Another, another Napoleon fish it looks like, um, but the, the what makes the game great is, uh, that wasn't hard at all, what makes the game great is the controller, um, compared to a real fishing rod it's not absolutely realistic, uh, but it makes the game so much better than just using a regular Dreamcast controller. Um, let's go over here and throw our line out and see if we can get anything bigger. Now yeah, see there's a uh... Looks like I got some kind of a uh... he's giving me a real fight here. Some kind of a tuna I think. Sometimes it's difficult to kind of go from, uh, oh, I got a good sized fish here. Um, you go from really low tension, 84 pounder, all right, trebly, bluefin trebly. You go from uh, really low tension, um, 
to really high tension really, really fast. Because you get to that low tension, you think, oh, i got to start reeling in really, really fast. And then it immediately goes from, from one extreme to the other. Um, and so sometimes it can be kind of difficult to gauge. Uh, but the game itself, uh, it's a ton of fun just reeling in fish. Uh, it's bright. It's colorful. It is an absolute, uh, absolute wonderful uh Sega arcade game. Uh, it's what was Sega was so great at was um, taking the weird and wonderful, uh, making it an arc, you know, an arcade game, and making it bright, colorful, fun to play, uh, responsive. So if you've never played this game before, I would highly suggest that you do so. Um, get a Dreamcast and play it. Um, but that's Sega Marine Fishing for the Dreamcast. Uh, this is, uh, I'll say this is a let's recommend rather than a let's trash. Uh, it's a great game. But I hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.